father's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood ninety years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny, weighed more. It was bought on the morn of the day when he was born, and was always his treasure and pride. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering. His life seconds numbering. It stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. My grandfather said that of those he could hire, not a servant so faithful he found. For it wasted no time and had but one desire: at the close of each week to be found. And it kept in its place not a frown upon its face. And its hands never hung by its side, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, his life seconds numbering. It stopped. Sure, never to go again when the old man died. It rang and alarmed in the dead of the night, an alarm that for years had been dumb. And we knew that his spirit was plumbing for flight, that his hour of departure had come. Still, the clock kept the time with a soft and muffled chime as we silently stood by his side. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old. Ninety years without slumbering, his life seconds numbering. It stopped short, never to go again when the old.